Hello everyone, we will continue the topic cross applications and we are discussing the topic how to send the materials from one client of SAP system to another client of SAP system. And as a part of that, we finished with the first six steps. The best part of this topic is these are the set of static steps which we always, always has to perform. Only the message type, IDOC type will change depends upon the purpose. Suppose in our scenario, we are sending the materials. So we are using the message type mat mass. Suppose if we are going for different data, then in that case, we need to go for different message type and IDOC type. Now we will move on to the next step. Now, what is the next step? Create a distribution model using the transaction code BD64. Now the first question comes why, why we require a distribution model and what is distribution model? Firstly, word itself is saying, we want to distribute, we want to distribute. So why, why we are going for distribution model? The purpose of distribution model is to describe the message flow between the logical system. It means we will describe which sort of messages will flow between the logical system with the help of distribution model. So distribution model helps us to describe that this particular information or this particular message will flow between the logical system. Suppose in our current scenario, we are sending the materials. So yes, with the help of distribution model, yes, we will describe that this particular message or information will flow between the logical system. In our current scenario, message or information is materials in our current requirement. Now, you all know we are saying the sort of information between the logical system. And yes, we have two logical system. One is sender and one is receiver. For the 100 number client, what is the logical system? A for H, C, L, N, T, 100. For the 200 client, what is the logical system? A for H, C, L, N, T, 200. So between these two logical system, which sort of information or which particular messages will flow that we will always, always decide through distribution model. For this purpose, we are creating distribution model. Now what I will do, I will simply, simply go to BD64 transaction code and we will create a distribution model. So what I will do, I will go to BD64 transaction code. Important transaction code, yes. Now title bar itself is saying, currently it is display distribution model. Whenever I want to go for creation, you need to click on to change button. As of now, create model view button is disabled. Once I will click on to change button. Now this button enabled and you can see title bar also changed, change distribution model. Now I will create a new model view. I will click on to the create button and title bar and description itself is saying create new view in the distribution model. I will go for create. 
I will give the short text. Suppose I will say model view for the materials. I will give the technical name. You can give technical name. It's totally, totally your wish. Suppose I will say Mac model. I gave the name of the view in the distribution model as Mac model. I will go for OK. Now you can see we got this particular view in this distribution model. Yes, this is the technical name and this is the description. I will go for save. Now I will simply, simply go for add message type. Now when I clicked on to add message type, now you can understand very, very easily the definition of logic, definition of distribution model. Just now we discussed the purpose of distribution model is to describe the message flow between the logical system. And yes, now we need to provide the logical system for the sender. We need to provide the logical system for the receiver. So what is the logical system for the sender? A4H CLNT100. Now what is the logical system for the receiver? A4H CLNT200. Now message type. Just now we discussed the definition. The purpose is to describe the message flow. Now in our current scenario, what is the message type for the materials? Ultimately, we are distributing. We are sending the materials. So what is the message type for the materials? It is MAT mass. In the previous videos, we used this particular message type. I will go for OK. And yes, now I will go for save. So we simply, simply created a view in this BD64 transaction code. And yes, we added the sender. We added the receiver and which particular information or which messages will flow between this 100 and 200. That is your mat mass. And you all know mat mass is the message type for the materials. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the seventh step. We created the distribution model using the transaction code BD64. Now the first question comes in everyone mind. Why we require a distribution model? The purpose of distribution model is to describe that which sort of messages, information you want to send, you want to flow between the logical system. In our current example, we want to send the materials. So we simply created a view in the BD64 transaction code. We clicked on to add message type. We provided the logical system, logical system for the sender, logical system for the receiver, and we provided the message type mat mass. It, it means between 100 and 200, we will go for distribution of the materials. 100 is the sender and 200 is the receiver. Now in the next video, we will simply, simply create the materials. You all know we can create the materials through MM01 transaction code. Then from 100 client, we will go for outbound. In 100 client, outbound IDOC will generate. In 200 client, corresponding inbound IDOC will generate. This part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.